What's up guys, Tim Wilson from Tim Wilson UK here and welcome back to the, Ch the Players' Championship from TPC Sawgrass. This is round number two. We go into the second round in second place and the wins, as you can see already from round number one, are significantly higher. So we should have more of a challenge today and let's see whether the AI experiences the same kind of challenge it is going to be really tough with the higher winds but um, yeah it adds that extra element of difficulty which is uh, which is always good all right 12 mile an hour wind it's going to be tough to get these uh, these close we are playing pin set two today because this is the second round so we've changed it up we've also changed up green speeds um, firmness all of those kind of lovely things but uh, with a 12 mile an hour headwind that is a pretty good outcome on hole number one let's see if we can get the bird we have picked up the birdie on round number one let's see what the scoreboard looks like so the guys are struggling as well all right so Bain through 13 10 under today Campbell not so good today five under so Currently seven off the pace. We're still on the front page of the leaderboard. But you can see those scores are very, very different to round number one. All right, let's jump straight into the second hole here. Par five, 14 mile an hour wind. Got to be a little bit careful we don't run out of fairway here. And at 533 yards, we should definitely be reaching the green in two. 308 yard drive. 226 so we've got a um, we've got a huge tailwind here so I am going to be dropping this down in fact I'm going to be dropping this down to the four iron and I think anywhere on this green will be a bonus gets a really nasty little kick there so it's going to be a long way away. It's going to roll back down ever so slightly. Is it going to hold the green? It wouldn't be a bad thing if it didn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, we've left that about three or four feet. Let's see if we can pick up the birdie. Hole number two, yep, yeah, back to back birdies. So we are off to a good start in this second round. 16 under. Looks like Campbell's dropped another position. He's back, he's dropped down to third place. So he clearly doesn't play particularly well in the wind. I mean, it is tough. I mean, these winds are brutal. I mean, you can see there, that was, I lofted that fully up and that went 10 yards further than the yardage that it was supposed to do for that club. All right, so we're not picking up a birdie on the par three today, like we did yesterday, but a par will suffice. I think if I can stay in and around the leaders inside the top 10 on the first page of the leaderboard here, I'm going to be happy. Six shots behind at the moment. All right, 13 mile an hour wind coming from my left shoulder. Another good drive. That should be bang in the middle of the fairway. Yeah. Some nice distance as well. Now, this is a tricky pin position, especially with that wind. Really tricky pin position. I'm going to fully loft this. It's just shy of 100 yards. Kicked it forward a little bit with that slope. Could have left that a little bit closer, I feel. I didn't do particularly well there. 14 feet. Moving from the right a lot. Yeah, even more so than what I originally uh, originally aimed. And that's going to be another par. 
the two. Oh no! My goodness me, that's a bogey. That is terrible. That was me taking it for granted, becoming complacent, and it's come back and bit me in the butt. The so bogey on the scorecard dropped out of the top ten. So we uh, have got a lot of work to do now. A lot of work. Four holes done. One under par. I was saying the um, the high winds were going to have a detrimental effect on the AI. They've had a detrimental effect on me. That was just poor, poor concentration. Really just took that for granted and it really, I've paid the price. I have paid the price. So we can redeem ourselves on this hole. Got a good line, good length here. I've left that about five or six feet. Let's hope I can pick that shot straight back up. Four feet, bit of movement, bang, in the middle of the cup. All right, we bounce straight back with a birdie. Put us almost back onto the front of the leaderboard. 24 under par is the leader at the moment, not quite in the clubhouse. So I'm eight shots back and I am five holes done. So I've got time. I just need to make sure that uh, I start to concentrate a little bit more. Not to take those little putts for granted. All right, 88 yards. Got a pitch shot. I think, you know what, a pitch shot is probably a good shout just to keep this under the wind. It needs to bite. Oh no! just dribbled off the back and that's the thing that I was saying in round number one about the pitch shots is that they are really really difficult it's difficult to know when it's going to stop and when it's not all right 18 feet I'm putting this because I don't want it to rush too far past the hole and if you get the chip shots wrong, you have a tendency to uh, leave yourself in a quite a tricky putt position. So I think the putt there, the option there for the putt was probably a better option. So the leader has had a storming round today, 12 under par in these conditions. So really going to struggle to get atop the leaderboard in round number two. But it's all about just consolidating, making sure we play well and not leave ourselves in too tricky a situation. I fully lofted that. I'm going to let this float in on the wind and hopefully it will check up. Yeah, I will take that. Got a beautiful bounce there as it hit the green. Not taking the slope for granted there. Aimed way out to the right and almost missed it as well. So Bain in the clubhouse, 12 under par, 24 under for the two rounds. Campbell back in third place at 22 under. Right, we have a par three. This is this is tough. This is tough. I think I'm going to try and sting this in. Didn't even call, didn't even make the green. So 
So if I'm being dead honest, I'm not having the best of rounds here. Whoa, 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 whoa. 23 yards, a 14-yard chip shot. I'm probably going to drop a shot here, guys. That's not me talking myself into it. Ooh, just grabbed it at the last minute. Just at the last minute. Eight holes done. Currently 10th position. Par five, so opportunity here. Into, <coughs> excuse me, into a headwind, so no chance of reaching the green in two. We've hit a fast there. <coughs> a couple of little errors are creeping into the game, so I need to iron those out. That's better. to be honest with you. Hit it nice and straight. Question is, how much effect is that wind going to have? Oh, yes. That's going to be about four or five feet. Alright, so we did have a bogey there on the front nine, but we go into the turn at four under. Not White on the leaderboard, one behind the 19 under par people, but V. Reed, he is now 25 under. So I'm still she seven, seven shots back. Got to, really got my work cut out for me here. I was, what was I, two shots back, one shot back at the end of round number one. I made a little bit of a mess on this second round, but let's see if I can pull it round. Come on, get up there. Get up. Get up. Look at the amount that took off that. That is crazy. Right, one would feel that I've got to get this hit. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a real tickle in my throat. Par on number 10. I think probably 6 or 7 under par is going to be my best today. I'm 8 shots back now. Wind behind on this par five. Definitely going to be able to reach this. Hmm, are we though? good at all thing is is that the three would would have gone too long hit the flag Oof. it needed to hit the flag otherwise I would have been in right bother there that would have gone sailing past so we get a fortuitous birdie there we have crept onto the front page of the leaderboard but Reed now 15 under through 16 holes to go 29. 10 shots clear. That would suggest an eagle somewhere. Wow.
and it does really highlight that gulf that exists between hard and very hard. And that only just crept on the front of the green. Right, 11 feet. Tricky little putt. Oh no, I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it. Come on, Tim. My my magic wand, the putter, has uh, deserted me in this second round. Still on the front page of the leaderboard, though. Or the first page of the leaderboard. Right, so I clubbed down twice there. And that is exactly why. So 165, that 13 mile an hour wind forced that to go an extra 21 yards. Alright, we get the birdie there. Let's see where we are now. Still 10 shots back. He's in the clubhouse, 16 under par through 18 holes. Reed had an absolute blinder today. I am currently I'm currently doing the worst out of everybody on the first page of the page of the leaderboard. I'm not even in double figures. I'm not even in double figures. But it's all about keeping touch because he may falter in round number three. Stay on the upper level. That's good. So the reason I lofted that is because I think I'm going to need it to check up a little bit. A little bit early, little bit early. Probably put a bit too much on it. It is uphill to the flag. Quite a lot uphill actually. One foot. Ooh, that wasn't far off being a really decent putt. All right, we tapped in for the par. Through 14. Four holes to play. Be nice to finish off with four birdies to get to ten under. I think I'm uh, probably doing a little bit of wishful thinking there. Giving that a good whack. Let's see if it uh, has got the momentum to get there. I'm going to leave myself about 20 25 feet. Turn, turn, turn. Get in! All right, there's the first one. I think I'd be happy to get up into fifth, so that means one more birdie at least. We've got a par five here. I've got a feeling this is where he must have eagled because um, he sort of jumped up quite quickly from eight shots ahead to ten shots ahead.
I've hit that nicely. The question is, has it got the legs to get there? I think it is. Or does. It's just checked up a little shy. Right, I'm going to have an uphill putt. That's for sure. Albeit a long uphill putt. Let's have a look at this. Tell you what, there's not a lot of lateral movement in this. It's all about the uphill. This is all about the pace. It just came up a little shy. I think I was probably a little left as well, but uh, I'll take the birdie because that, if I get it, yep, that will get me up into tie fifth. Right, two holes to play. Still eight shots back. What's the wind doing today? Right, didn't spend an awful lot of time mucking about on that one. You're either gonna get it really close or it's all about just hitting the green and taking what you're given. Wow, look at that. I must have literally just been on the end because that was almost at a complete standstill before that stopped. Where's that arrow? Let's uh, bring that back. It's all moving to the right. 40 feet, two feet uphill. So it is a huge, huge slope. Oh, we could bogey 17. Wow. I've made a complete pig's ear of that. And I haven't hit that one either. So we are going to bogey 17. So gone backwards a little bit there, guys. Two bogeys on the round. Now nine shots back and we've got 18 to play. And we all know 18 from round number one is my bogey hole. So I need this. I need a birdie here to get back to fifth place. Tied fifth place. So let's see what we can do. Got the drive away nicely. It's in the fairway. I just want to hit the green. I didn't hit the green last time. All right. That's better. That's good for 18. I'm pleased with that. I sound very surprised, but I don't normally play 18 well. As if you've watched uh, round number one, I did state that on the first round. Can we get a birdie on 18? We can. So hopefully that takes me back to five under. Let's have a quick butchers. Yeah, everybody's in the clubhouse. So I had the worst round out of everybody on that page, eight under par, 22 under for the event. Um, yeah, so currently eight shots back. You know what, I'm three behind Gonzalez. And Reed's gotta keep that momentum going. So let's let's hope he has, uh, he or she has a, has a bad round in rad, round three and we can start to uh, Start to creep up a little bit. I'm still two shots behind Campbell, and that's where I was at the end of round number one, I think. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, leave some comments in the box below, and if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, if you'd like to see more like this, round number three will be coming up tomorrow, Saturday. But until then, guys, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye now.